you know, Matt's talking about how uh, the mobile phone has disrupted his life or uh, benefited his life, and certainly, I, I think, taking dating onto a handheld device is an extraordinary development. Um, and so our topic today is going to be you know, about how to, how to achieve that, that extraordinary massive growth through design. And, and Tinder is just a, a textbook case here. It you know, started in 2012, and already there have been 10 billion matches. I and mean, it's 10 billion. That, that's a huge number. That's a lot of love. A lot of love out there. Um, you know, taking something that is so core to our, our human identity, which is love and, and, and affection and desire and, and you know, love at first sight, and then combining it in you know, a real-world gesture of swiping uh, it down into a page. Jonathan is responsible for that. Um, there are, uh, in January, the company announced 100 million downloads. I just got to share some of these statistics after I write them down. Uh, there's 26 million matches a day. I, you know, in the interest of research, I had to download Tinder. Uh, explain to my wife, uh, you know, it's only research, and I got to tell you, I did it, and there were, I got no matches. You know? <laughs> And then, of course, the um, better-looking people in the office explain, no, you have to put a real photo up. <laughs> so, uh, and then I did actually get some matches, but that's another story. <laughs> Manga is, is a subculture unto itself. Um, so, it's in 196 countries as well, so, you know, love is indeed universal. Uh, so, I said uh, Tinder's been on a tear. You know, four four things have happened recently. They last week they announced they bought a company called Human, which is another um, dating app with contact men and stuff. Uh, last week uh, they introduced a swipe the vote feature to sort of match make people based on their interests with a presidential candidate of their choice. So you know, match making again. Um, also released some data that's starting to scratch the surface of all the, the things that, that we share on, or people, other people share on Tinder. Um, and then there's also uh, a, something called Superlike, which we're going to talk about quite a bit, because it comes directly, in my view, from the swipe right. And so, so let's get started with that, uh, Jonathan. Could you tell us a little bit about the origin story of swipe right? Uh, so the swipe uh, and the swipe right specifically. And maybe we need to explain it for some people who haven't used Tinder. And so first off, with uh, Tinder, you sign in with Facebook. Uh, and you can see, you're presented with a stack of people uh, that you can either swipe right on to express your interest in them, or no to to not uh, to pass. And those who both swipe right on each other are presented with this wonderful. It's a match screen. And only one, uh, only then, are those two users now able to uh, have a conversation, uh, which you can see there is sort of the conversation list, and hopefully you get a few of them. And that's a match, exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, and so, you know, what what were you thinking when you came up with Swipe Right? I mean, right. we do this all the time. You know, come here. You know, that kind of thing. Or? It was, you know, I think it was really playing on that sort of uh, how you kind of go through a sort of uh, a stack of cards. I was really imagining how you could, if I was taking, making choices on this stack of cards, that what I would end up with is three different stacks of cards. And so I started to imagine those other stacks of the cards on the other side of the screen. And so it was more or less tossing it over to the right or to the left to these other piles uh, of cards there. Uh, fortunately for Tinder, it kind of showed up uh, on the right side is, you know, where the match list is. So it's sort of like you're trying to throw them into that match list. But it's actually kind of surprising because people didn't even, uh, we didn't actually launch with the swipe. Because right. so it wasn't the first iteration. No, no, yeah, it was, it was the second version of the app. So, so you went from visualizing sort of, you know, yeah. in the three, <laughs> uh, <laughs> three stacks of cards, mm -hmm. yes, maybe no. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and you're sitting there, I remember you are telling me something about you want to be able to do it with one hand, avoid exactly. the, 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 dict you know, the, the, the tyranny of the, the screen target. Yeah. It was, uh, it was exactly. You're walking down the street, you know, you, you don't want to hit things accidentally. You want to do it. Uh, and That's it's, what it's, I was afraid of doing. Yeah. Like, it's the wrong way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so and, and it, was, it just really worked naturally there uh, because it, it doesn't have that specific target, as you mentioned, uh, that you have to tap. And, and so, what, so the first iteration did not have it. 
what was the breakthrough then to get to the, the swipe right, and how did it evolve over? I think, you know, it, it mimicked the, the position of the buttons and all, so you've got your, your light on the right side, your, your note on the left side, uh, and we've continued to tweak it over time, uh, improve it in uh, some ways that people wouldn't necessarily uh, associate. The first version of it had this really messy stack and, and all. Um, and then we've uh, even introduced some other directions of swipes and all, too. Right, right. And, and, and before we move on that, so the, are there, were there milestones that you were looking to hit? Or what was the most surprising yeah, the use of data? I think, uh, you know, we uh, some of the milestones I think we have up here, too, okay. uh, which we did have a million days per, we have a million days per week uh, with 10 billion matches, as you mentioned, and uh, uh, 1.4 billion swipes. And I think it was uh, early on, though, we really had, uh, we had people talking about swipe in real life uh, and, and saying that they'd swipe right on this or swipe left on that. It might be code uh, to other people. And that was one of those times where I think we really had realized that we were on something. Yeah, you know, so uh, Seth Godin has described the, the success of Uber in that way, that, you know, it, that the, the, the growth came about from, hey, John, you know, we set dinner together. Let me show you this. Watch what I do. Press a button. And that car comes. Mm -hmm. The same kind of thing, where it is. It is. It, 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 exactly. So it really everything that we've done has come from very little marketing. It's been this word of mouth. It's been success stories. It's been something I think that people like to, to share with their friends because they enjoy doing it. Uh, whether it be for a five minute stint while they're waiting for somebody, or when they're uh, uh, sitting down for an hour or watching TV or whatever. And, 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 to sort of dial back, I mean, if you have a design principle, what is it you're trying to achieve with that, you know, flat screen and limited space? It's really the, the simplicity. You know, you have limited space, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, so you can't show too much. You have to really choose what is the most important thing. Tinder, the most uh, prominent thing on there, is this uh, picture of a person, along with a couple of details about them that we hopefully choose some of the best pieces of information, whether it be their jobs or their uh, education, and it was trying to get rid of all of the other things uh, to, to really take advantage of that. Space. I mean, and, and for what, you know, it, it seems fairly revolutionary, you know, the, the prior to Tinder, uh, you know, people would fill out questionnaires, exactly. you know, agonize over their introduction video, or what have you, hire a consultant. Right. We wanted people the, to be able to start using Tinder with in a very short period of time without having to fill everything out, be able to just with a tap of a button, yeah. have that profile created, and, and play on that very visual nature where you see somebody in it, you almost you know immediately whether you're interested in them or not. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's that fast life that I'm not describing. It, it's quick, it's instant, it's, it's immediate, um, and it, in some cases, it can lead to something more permanent, like yeah, marriage. It, it happens. We get a lot of wedding invitations. And all okay, so, so then let, let's talk about uh, a, another uh, iteration of the swiping. You recently introduced something called Superlike. Yes. Can you explain? Oh, look here. That's, uh, so the Superlike is something uh, that we originally we tested in Australia. Um, and it was, it allows you to tell somebody that you actually are interested in them so that they can make a decision on whether to swipe left or right on, on you based upon that, as opposed to a regular right swipe, which is doesn't actually it's a standard one. You know, you don't find out until you swipe right on them whether they like you. So this is almost like, almost like uh, buying that person a drink or something like that. And in uh, Australia, we tested this, um, and it ended up doing some of the things we really wanted to do. Uh, you can, uh, so you swipe up for the super light, um, and we found that it actually increased the chances of you matching up with somebody about three times as likely if you used a super light. Uh, it actually increased the of the conversation like so people were having you know, basically a deeper connection with those matches that they did have uh, it increased it by about 70 percent and, and when you're measuring this I mean you said you've been tested in Australia I mean, mm -hmm. how large was the sample or do you it's I mean, focus it's, group it or how it's, do you explain how do you teach people to swipe up so the interesting thing is one you don't necessarily have to had to swipe up. You, we did tell people you've got the, 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 the beautiful star with the, uh, with the streaks coming out of it, but there's some interesting, some nice little things, I think, and subtleties in the design for it, too. Uh, 
for instance, you've got this star, uh, that it's called super light, and it's got these uh, the little lines going up, so it's got this upward motion, yeah. super hero-like. And then when you press the button, the card will actually, almost uh, as if it's trying to launch off, compress a little bit, fly off the top of the screen. And so by doing that, you're actually educating the user, you know, applying that super light uh, stamp. Almost the same way that we do with the left and right swipe also, where we put the stamp on there and the card will fly off if you press the button in either direction. So it really, I think, educates the user as to what, what they should expect and how they might actually be able to interact with the card. Right. Uh, and, and, and did you test multiple versions of this? Or how did you iterate and sort of, you know, use the word? We're fussed, you like to fuss over the animation. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we always play with it. We've, uh, we did various things with uh, the, the bottom portion of the card, which will show you uh, what uh, that the other person super liked you, playing with uh, the various versions of that and, uh, to, to make sure that it was something that people took note of and, and were able to, to uh, uh, that it would stick out to them. And, and, and are there other, you know, you could describe, um, the stacks of cards, sort of imagining those in, in the real in the real world. Was there a, is there another influence that we have, you know, that may have inspired this or yeah. see something? I think uh, I think it's everything that we do is really inspired from real life. Uh, I think, as I mentioned, that sort of the uh, buying somebody a drink and all, and it really allowing you to express your interest. We only give there, these are something that you can't use all the time. You get one a day, uh, and so it really creates uh, one a day. Yeah, you get only get that one a day so you have to use it wisely on something that you're really interested in so it gives uh, uh, it adds some weight to that uh, and it's the same sort of thing you know when you're walking around in the real world you can only give your attention to so many people you can't give give your attention to everybody and by giving people that attention you end up uh, yeah, and, saying and, that you're really interested and this, so it's all very authentic and, and real and is there a connection there between that authenticity and honesty and the audience, meaning that they're largely millennials, that they're younger, uh, excuse younger, you know, 18 to 34, who are you know, really distrustful of these kinds of apps and being sold to and marketed to. Um, it's, it's, yeah, there's about, uh, I think it's 85% or between, 80, no, between 18 and 34. And it's, I think, something that really works um, well for them, especially you know, everybody's got their uh, heads up and down on their phone. This is uh, the way that we primarily communicate now, uh, meet people. Uh, and I don't think that we necessarily have really good tools for that before. Um, and this is, it's something I think people are really open to uh, yeah. now. And uh, it's, it's at a time in their life that they're really interested in meeting people. And, and so you talk a lot about you know, communicating and people talk meeting and so on. And you recently added then I guess we could be a, a partnership with, with Jiff, Jiffy, or Jiffy, we were, we were talking before, I said, I think Jonathan's going to say Jiff, and I say Jiff. Uh, but but uh, can you tell us why you added that, and how to broaden the, I guess, communication between potential natural people? So, so, we, so we added the Jiffs, as I call them, Giffy, the company, uh, and that's the peanut butter. Exactly, exactly. The, um, but they named, so they... The, the GIF is something that is sort of lighthearted. It's it's something in the real world, you know, when you're texting somebody, sometimes it can be hard to express whether